Okay, so for the seven, in the resistance pattern, this is two-facedness, lying, controlling, and indecisiveness. So let's dig into that a bit deeper. Oftentimes, this is like wearing the mask. So you can imagine the resistance pattern. Each of these circles here is like wearing a different mask. And the resistance pattern will, the voice, the limiting belief will say, hey, I'm not, no one's going to like me if they really know who I am. So I've got to put on a mask for this group. I've got to put on a mask for this group. And I got to put on a mask for this group. And I basically will play the actor and just be whatever people would like best and not be who I really am. Because if I, if they find out who I really am, then no one's going to like me. And so this can create somebody who's surrounded by a lot of people, you know, but inside they feel isolation. It's like being surrounded by people, but inside you feel like you're an island, you know, out at sea a million of miles away from anybody. And that's because when these masks are being worn, nobody knows who the person really is inside. And if they don't really know who the person really is, then there's not that real connection. And the sevens will lie um, to others, to themselves, small and big, multiple different ways. And, you know, if it's really extreme, sometimes they don't even understand the extent of their lying. And it's all relating back to wanting to be liked. And that's where the controlling can come in there because this is, there's this rigidity in the body of like, I need to control all these things. I got to put the certain mask, the certain face, the certain foot forward so that I'm going to be liked. And if I slip up, just like in a movie or in a play or a performance, if I slip up the performance and the crowd doesn't, and the crowd sees, I'm going to get boos. Uh, I'm going to get booed off stage. And this scenario, booed off stage is, you know, them losing the community that they do have, even if it's a very superficial community. And so that's why the key here for the genius talent is somebody who ultimately unlocks the most magnetic energy in the system. And that can only be unlocked. The, the resistance pattern, the limiting belief says, well, if I just get, if I just put on enough masks, if I just get good enough at playing the part, then I'll be magnetic and everyone will like me. And, you know, some people might like them, but it's the wrong type of people. It's the people that are not authentic. They're not true themselves. So it's not even relationships that are, are really meaningful because they're just superficial. And the genius talent is to let go of the masks and be who you really are regardless of where you're at. And that's authenticity. That's being authentic. And some people are going to like that and some people aren't. But the people that do, they'll be liking the real you. And that's what creates the magnetism. It's because a person is being their true self. And ultimately, every human being on the planet wants to be that. They want that for themselves. Every human on the planet wants to be their authentic self and to be able to have a community around them that accepts them and sees them for who they truly are. So when a... The reason why magnetism happens here is because when a person unlocks that for themselves, which they can only do that once they heal their heart, once they connect to who they are and connect to their own value, their own worth, and you know, truly start to begin to like themselves and, and be okay with some people not liking them and just being who they are regardless, that creates a magnetism. And Nicholas has a fun way of saying this. He's like, uh, you know, when the magnetism of the seven is activated, it's like people come out of the woodwork. You know, they'll, they'll crawl over the fence to get to the person with the seven. They'll, you know, crawl underneath it, dig a ditch underneath it, whatever. They'll just do whatever they can to be in the, in the presence. And then they'll just show up and it's like, oh, well, why'd you, why'd you climb over the fence to be here? I don't know. I just, I just want to be in the energy. 
And essentially, it's like unconsciously, that's what people are doing. That's what the magnetism is. They just feel this draw to this person who's so anchored in who they are and relaxed in it that people are drawn to that because subconsciously it's like an oasis. Like if, if human beings are in a desert and they're looking for water, the water is them being able to be their true authentic selves. So then when a person has this genius talent activated, it's like they're the oasis in the desert. And people are like, oh my God, I want that, I need that, and they do everything they can to go there. And that's why in the genius talent, these are community creators and authentic, thriving communities. Because you can get some people together in the resistance pattern, but it's people who aren't there for the right reasons. It's not gonna have longevity. And ultimately, you know, it's, it's short lived. So the genius talent is a thriving community creator. And they're doing that because they're authentic to themselves and they, by nature, um, are building a community of authenticity and where people can put down their masks and actually be who they truly are and, and grow together. And that's where this also creates being decisive because in the resistance pattern, if you can imagine, like it just makes sense because a person has so many different masks. They're playing so many different characters. And we know from Hollywood actors, like if you're going to play a convincing character, you need to like become that character. Mind, body, like mannerisms, emotions, you become that character to be convincing. Otherwise people inherently sense through it. So if the person in the resistance pattern has all these different masks, they're playing all these characters, then it starts getting cloudy of A, what is real and what's not real, and B, what's the best decision? Because it's like they've got all these different characters that are uh, having their say. You know, and one character might be more conservative by nature, let's play it slow. And then another one would be like, hey, you know what I say? You know, you're gonna, you gotta figure it out. You gotta go on our own way, let's go. You know, there's these different perspectives and creates indecisiveness. So as a person connects, and you don't need to lose the ability to uh, relate to people and say different characters and stuff such like that, but it's not getting lost in them. It's being anchored in who you truly are. And that creates decisiveness because when you know who you truly are, then there's a clarity that comes through. And that's where these becomes fantastic in business, not only to magnetize people, but to finalize decisions. It's like Solomon type energies, uh, the judge, counselor. It's like arrive at finality. And that needs to be done. So with this, it's the resistance pattern will say, you know, you've got to play the perfect part in order to magnetize people to you. When in reality, the genius talent is you need to draw people to you by opening your heart, by being authentic in the small conversations and the big conversations, and by opening your heart and being authentic and speaking through your heart, because it's very different. You can speak from your mind and say all the right things, but we know that, I don't have the exact uh, percentage, but the the words that we use, even though they're very powerful, it's actually a very small percentage of communication. It's been studied and, and proven. And body language, energy, all these other things are uh, play a, a much bigger role because we're instinctual creatures. So when we speak from the heart, you can notice the, the body relaxes. There can be intensity with it, absolutely, but there's a relaxness in the body. And people feel it. So as a person is speaking from their heart, that's what creates that mysterious, invisible magnetism that people can't quite put their finger on it, but they know it's there. And the resistance pattern will say, no, just use your mind, use your words. You'll convince them to like you. The genius talent is, okay, I'm just going to be authentically who I am in every moment. And it just so happens that that's what creates incredible magnetism for people. So we'll close here with 
an item from this drawing is that this is also the link that unites because it's bringing different groups together that might not have ever been together. So it, this can be on the, the micro scale where it's people together, or it can be the macro where it's groups and communities of people together. So say this group wants to have nothing to do with the other group, and this group's over here. But the person with the seven activated is the link that unite and is speaking and acting from their heart. So people can feel that and they're like, okay, this person wants the best generally for both of us. So I'll give them a level of trust that I wouldn't anybody else. And that's what allows these two groups to come together in a way that they wouldn't have come before and actually hear each other out. So that's where this becomes the link that unites.